This is the image that usually comes to mind when you think about Michigan's abnormally high water levels. But the effects of the high water extend well beyond the lake shore. And the popular summertime destination will remain closed throughout the summer because of it. 13 on your side's Noah Fromson reports from Spring Lake. Spring Lake always banks on summer, but this year more than most. We're grand opening uh, Epicurean Village. We've got new restaurants opening, and so that's going to help our uh, tourism. It's a major boost, offsetting a loss Angela Stanford Butler hoped wouldn't come. How long will it be closed? Uh, ask Mother Nature. It's right now, it's, it's over. The Village Council recently closed the consistently flooded Mill Point Park for at least the summer. The high water is making it impossible for crews to complete any of the budgeted repairs. What was once a, hey, we need to repave Mill, po uh, Mill Point has become, we need to re-engineer uh, Mill Point. The park's boat slips will be unusable. I can't put on events underwater. <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> and the closure will also force the village's heritage festival to move most of its activities to another venue. It's easy to go down there because we know exactly what to do. Now the whole thing's changed and there's going to be a lot more work to try and put this on. Now it's Mill Point Park, but Township Supervisor John Nash says as the waters keep rising, everyone will be affected. You can say I don't live on the lake so I don't care. You will care because if this continues there's going to be very, very significant problems. But Stanford Butler hopes people won't give up on the lakeshore. There are ways to access it and um, summer's still going to happen and we're still going to have a spectacular summer. Noah Fromson, 13 on your side.